Hey there, uh, this is Carter. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the default profile script that you've downloaded. Um, I have a fair bit of stuff inside this script to run. It saves quite a bit of time rather than running each command terminal. Um, and what this does in short is essentially when you create uh, the new default profile user, I, again I call it default, um, whatever adjustments you make, uh, desktop, uh, menu bar, dock, application settings, uh, just everything you make adjustments to is what's going to be uh, copied into the default profile. Any new users such as local users, Active Directory users, Open Directory users, they're all going to get this new profile. Today I have a desktop here, I've got up on remote desktop and the reason I've done this is because this way here we can see me logging into each different user and showing you the process. So what I'm going to first going to do here, oops, I think that's the wrong password. No, no, good. Uh, I'm going to log in. We're going to get the default profile that's already in place, as you can see. So this is a brand new user. I've never logged in before. Uh, we have the settings in the dock, uh, menu bar, and wallpaper. Uh, without going through a bunch of the applications, show you a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're going to quickly log back out. <coughs> and we're now going to log into the default user. This is the, again, again the, uh, the user I'm going to make modifications to for the default profile. Okay, so same thing. Uh, what I'm going to do is make some changes. So, start with the menu bar. Uh, I don't want these in here. Uh, I do want to put the display icon up there. So let's do that. Let's change the desktop. Um, let's modify the dock here. Let's get rid of some applications. And a neat thing too is say if I've downloaded anything, I've thrown it in the trash, or if it was in the uh, downloads folder after say you've downloaded a new browser or any additional applications, but you forgot about this stuff, so downloads and trash, the script is going to remove this for you. So just in case you haven't. Uh, you forgot to remove this stuff, it's going to get taken care of. So I've gone ahead, I've changed the, the dock, I've thrown some stuff on the desktop, changed the menu bar, and background. So let's go out and we're going to log in as that root user. Check out the uh, description in the uh, document I have there. It's going to tell you basically what I'm doing. Uh, this is just a quick lowdown as to how the process works. Okay, so we have the root user. Here's the script uh, that I've I already have on my desktop. Again, there's not much to it. I basically double click it and it's going to run up. It's going to be in the dock and the little gear will spin. Now, the actual copying process and the cleaning up only takes 10 to 20 seconds at the max. Um, the big thing is I've also added in at the end uh, disk uh, repair permissions. This can be rather quick uh, if you haven't done a whole lot in the system. If you've done a lot of modifications, this is going to help to clean up. But uh, for the moment, we're just going to let it sit. And I might have to speed this up a little bit through time lapse. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and essentially created the default profile. So if we go ahead and log back out of this machine, in most cases from here you would go ahead, shut down or restart uh, the desktop. You're going to hand it off to a faculty or staff uh, member. Um, or you're going to be basically sending up an image to the server and deploying this to all your labs. But for the moment, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and log in under Mac user Oops. 2. So I logged into Mac user 1 before, 
and we're gonna have a look here. So we should see some modifications such as the dock, the desktop, and so on. Okay, so as you can see, the dock has changed. Um, I got stuff on the desktop. The menu bar uh, is updated. So the what was it? Bluetooth time machine's gone. Um, the display settings are there, and basically all the changes that I made are gone. Uh, if we went back to the Mac user, uh, let's just do that right quick to give you a quick view, because that was a local user that's still there. We're gonna see the differences that I had. Okay, so that was the original user before I made all the modifications. And the new user. So anyway, um, I hope this script works uh, nicely for you. Uh, it's basically a quick method to, well, shorten uh, your day <laughs> by putting a bunch of uh, scripts. But if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Thanks.